What's going on, viewers from the internet? I'm Variety Gamer 95. And I'm Cypher Snake 89. We're back to tackle more Metal Slug. So this is Metal Slug Anthology. In particular, this is the PlayStation 2 version on PS4, because this is the only way to play Metal Slug 6. So in particular, we're going to be playing the arcade version. Oh yeah, something I didn't mention to you, Snake. Click the right touchpad for start. And square will be the confirm button for picking a character. Because we're going to be doing that a lot, both of us. Mm -hmm. So Metal Slug 6 has an easy mode and a hard, hard mode. What the hell? Oh, you pressed it. So go to hard mode yeah. and press square. There we go. So okay. yeah, this game introduces two new characters and character I'm... differences. Oh. There we go. Right. So Marco has a strong heavy machine gun. Theo starts with a heavy machine gun. Sorry, Marco is a strong pistol. Ralph can take two hits. Clark can do a super move. Eric can throw bombs anywhere. And Tarma does better things with uh, slugs. Thanks for choosing for me. The time ran out. You see, I was going to go over all of that, and then you press the start button. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so this game actually goes back... Right, there's no auto fire. This game actually goes back to the old display. There are no transformations. And by default, uh, the amount of ammo that we get from weapons is actually halved. Unless you're playing as Fio. And this game actually introduces a simpler combo system than Metal Slug 4 did. Where by defeating enemies, we build up a combo. And if we reach the max, a lot of coins will fly out for a short time. So this game also introduced a new announce. Kind of hard oh, for us to hear. I want it, 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 I want it. Gotta hop up here. Surprise it hasn't finished. Alright. Just gotta get used to playing without auto fire again. It's only gonna be for this game. That missile hit me! What the hell? No, it was the guy who knifed you, that's what it was. Well, we don't have to worry about inserting any credits, because this is free play according to the bottom of the screen. Muscle memory is messing me up from the other versions. I know. That's what I warned him about when we were moving on to the other versions. Yeah. So right click the touchpad for start. There you go. I know that's good. It takes to get used to. That's something that... Oops. That's something that I don't like about the PS2 and PS4 games. That the right touchpad is star and the left touchpad is select. But it's just something that we have to get used to. So here's the metal slug. We cannot grab that chick yet until it grows into a chicken. We just have to wait out this part. That is a long freaking walker. Yeah, I know. So this game also introduced the weapon stock system. <laughs> where if you press R1 on the PS2, you can switch weapons. Alright, just give us a time to load. There we go. So it looks like General Underpants' army is back. Yep. They were absent in Middle Slug 5. See, there's a prisoner up there. Thingy! Ugh. You got the thingy. See, if I have a moment, then I can toss it to you, because I haven't used any ammo. Right click the touchpad. Right click the touchpad. There you go. Beep, 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 beep. These controls are already. <laughs> yeah, I know. After playing five straight Metal Slugs on, the, on Nintendo, now moving on to PlayStation. You can throw the weapon to uh, to your buddy if you're playing co-op mode, but the thing is, oh crap! In order to do that, it has to be a uh, full. Let's see. I believe the command is L1 and there we go. See, they can give it to you. Command is L1 and cir circle. Wait, I'll let you have these two guys' rewards as thanks. Oh, gold back, gold back, yeah, gold, back, a gold, gold back. back. There we go. You got the points. Yeah. It should be noted that if you have a weapon, you can press R1 to swap it out for the pistol. Uh, 
Oh, so much of that. The game forces forward. Let's see, here is where the first boss of the game is at. Watch it here. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and bust out the heavy machine gun. The thing about the weapon stock system is you'll still lose your guns if you die. Which is unfortunate, but that's the way it is. Drill, drill, yeah, drill with teeth. Drill with teeth! Ah! Did I just seriously get moonshotted? Yep. Right click touch pad, there we go. I'm gonna try someone else. Alright, so Ralph gets ha even less ammo from guns, but he can take two hits before dying. See, you're the one who got the killing blow, nice. Wow, I really didn't die throughout that whole first stage? No, nope, you saved all those soldiers, aren't you a freaking hero? Yeah. Okay, well, I don't know about how I feel about half ammo, but... Yeah, it's because he could take two hits. Oh, and uh, if you press, I believe it is L1 up in circle, he can do a punching attack that can destroy tank easily. Really? Yeah. So he's really powerful. Uh, talk me through that one more time. I believe it is L1 up in circle. Uh, I don't remember the command for it exactly. Oops. That was tossing. Oh, I'm weapon, sorry. You I think it's, I think it's L1 up in square. L1 up in square. There you go. See, that's one of the moves that he can do. Fuck. All right. So the laser gun actually gained the ability to shoot diagonally briefly. <clears throat> See, that's the problem with this version of Metal Slug 6, it's that it doesn't really tell you what to do. Like, Fuck. how to do the special actions. So that's the standard attack. Fuck. No, I don't think Triangle does anything. Yeah, see, so he took a hit, but Ralph is still alive. There we go, the game moves forward. See, L1 in circle is what is what the uh, toss weapon command is. Do that guy, yeah, you know, give us a drop shot. I got a fire. And the aliens are back. Yep. So take so the way I see it, the last one we played when we faced new characters is not canonical. Actually, it is. There's actually a Metal Slug timeline. Metal Slug Five is one of the last games in it. So you're not you're still vulnerable in that thing, but if you can take it up to a certain point, you can actually get a better gun. There we go. It's this thing coming up right here, I believe. Yeah, there it is. It just walk the donkey up to the front and it'll attach itself. There you go. And that's how it gets its cannon. That cannon is also used as a platform. Oh yeah, this game introduces a new weapon, the Zantetsu Sword. So it's it unleashes a beam that can neutralize enemy firepower. Just like that. <laughs> See, the downside is that this weapon cannot be aimed up or down. Fuck. Uh, get in the tank! Get in the slug! Hold on a sec. Get this slug! There we go. Get the slug! Alright. I'm gonna try this per right. That's Clark. If you get near an enemy and oh, there's good old what's his name. If I... you can get near an enemy and do the Super Argentine Backbreaker, you can combo it and you can get a lot of bonus points. The only problem is I don't remember how to do the command. So those are techniques that only Ralph and Clark can do. Fuck. Mm. Uh... Ugh. Button mash! Button mash! Uh, we died. Alright. Uh. Why can't I do things? I'm getting angry! Ugh. 
Alright, so if you hold a direction with Aerie and press the bomb button, she can throw a bomb all the way to the edge of the screen. She also starts with pointy bombs. Mm hmm. Alright, so there we go. Now this guy's pretty interesting. Oh, I died again. Alright, let's see here. Oh, I died again. See, if you can hop up here, you can throw bombs at it. Alright, now, this, the first part is down. And now a huge gun is going to show up in this thing. Here we go. And those flashing things, they'll hurt you. Alright, so hop to avoid this. There we go. For my bombs. I'm so glad that this came out for PS2 and PS4. Metal Slug Anthology, because in the Wii version, to throw bombs, you have to shake the controller. It was just awful. To aim the bomb, you have to hold a direction and then press the bomb button. Oh. Yeah, that's how you do it with Aerie. I don't know what I'm doing standing there like a moron. Oh, we already took care of it, okay. Nice shot. All right, now there's going to be a cutscene here playing out right here. Oh no, we got captured again. But wait. As we all know, this series has some surprises. Now there's a new race of alien invaders that eat the Mars people. Well, General Underpants, I really hmm. want to kill you now. So these guys actually managed to find Root Mars. You mean the brain alien from... Yeah, yeah, from Metal Slug 3. Root Mars is his name. Yeah. Yeah, and, and these new aliens just totally destroy them. Also, this is like a flashback, and he's telling us the story. Yeah, exactly. Can we kill him? I want to kill him. Can we just end him forever? No, we can't do that. Because now we're teaming up with Morden and the Mars people. To combat the new aliens. You so, gotta be freaking kidding yeah. me! So from here on out, we are not going to be fighting Morden's army. They're going to be on our side. Those worms that I thought uh, turn red when they explode? That's this game. It's this game that I was thinking of. I don't remember getting the heavy machine gun. You got both of those weapons. Ugh. Glory hog, you. I thought you were the one who got the heavy machine gun. I got the shotgun. Well, why don't you toss me one? No, I, I see, died. Let's see here. Okay, no, I didn't use it yet, so I can give it to you. There we go. Thank you. Uh, oh, no. Charge! Seriously, I freaking hate that. Yeah, I know. So just since it comes out of nowhere. Uh... You can't, you can't beat the classics, huh? Yeah. I just like working with this dick. Yeah, so Tarma's special ability is that he can do the Vulcan fix by holding down the shoot button. He can fix it, the gun, in a direction. And I think he makes slugs last longer as well? Or maybe that's double F. But he can at least do the Vulcan fix with any vehicle. Ugh. Can't believe he didn't die to that. We had to move forward. There we go. Yeah, so like I said before, there are no transformations in this game. They were taken out. So there's no fat mode, no zombies, nothing like that. <clears throat> That's retarded. Yeah, I know. It's it's weird how it just went back to Middle Slug 1 with no transformations. <laughs> <laughs> Their legs look really funny going in sync like that. Let's 
So we believe there's going to be a guard on the left. Yes, I was right. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and get a move on. It's so a long, suckers. Uh, this part is pretty interesting coming up. If those guys attach to your character, they'll suck them up and they'll die instantly. Even if you're playing as Ralph. And meanwhile, the NPCs just turn into mindless zombies. Yeah, real fair, guys. Well, we're playing on hard mode. Remember? You yeah. told me well, to do it. We have to because this game uses easy mode mockery. You do get the heavy machine gun as a default weapon, but the game ends before the final stage. So, if we wanted to see the whole game, we didn't have a choice. Uh, a lot of these guys here. Oh, nope, I got to demonstrate that. Uh, I'm actually going to see if I can remember how to, me, do that, uh, uh, how to do that command. Fucking shit. Let's see. There we go! I was correct! It's L1 up in square! I was correct! That is how you do that command! So how come my buddy couldn't do it earlier? I don't know, because I'm... Let's see. I mean, this is the game that introduced a lot of new moves, to be fair. So it does take some getting used to. There we go. See? Okay, that's something I could not do. Yeah, it's L1 up and square. I was correct. <clears throat> yeah, that move can destroy tanks. And that's why he gets half ammo to compensate. Oh, I died. Yeah, because of the character differences, you may actually want to try someone new. Yeah, I know I've got complacent gaming syndrome. Let's see here. There we go. Ah, got hit once. Alright. Oh, there we go. Seriously, bombs are the only way to fight these aliens. They're immune to everything else. There we go. So I believe one of these guys gave us two machine guns. Yeah, go ahead and take that. That's ammo. Let's see here. There we go. Alright, more ammo. If we can actually keep it, that is. So it looks like that these aliens are immune to these shots, but they are taking damage. I think Get the I used points before they disappear. Yeah, this part's ridiculous. I can't figure out how to get past it without taking Just damage. Just keep bombing them. Let's see here. Here we go. I thought one of us got firebombs for a second. I think there's... Oh no, there's going to be a mini boss. Let's see... Oh, I'm out of bombs. Alright, here it goes. This is thing of. Alright. This is the Vulcan. This thing can do the Vulcan fix regardless of who's controlling it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, what I would do is fix it at a certain angle, hold the shoot button, because <clears throat> there is going to be a boss coming up. Yeah, the brain jar. Oh my god, that yeah, thing's disgusting. I know. You're still vulnerable in this thing, by the way. Well, yeah. yeah. You notice that the HP meter for the metal slugs is back too. When it wasn't, when it wasn't there, a metal slug four and five. And this boss's attacks are really hard to dodge. Let's see here. There we go. This attack especially, yeah. It, I have no idea how I'm supposed to avoid that. Oh, that's nice game. You just gave me the two machine guns as soon as I died. If that thing goes near that enemy, then you may as well just not grab it at all. Because if you get close to him, he'll melee you. Oops. 
Didn't mean to grab that. Use up one of my free hits. Oh! He's picking up a bus from the water! And he's tossing it at us. Ugh. That goes my second hit. I can't fight him. I know, he's really hard. No, I mean, I can't run, then turn and turn around and fight at the same time. Oh, I'm still alive! I'm still alive! I <sighs> yeah, I know, this guy's rough. Alright, come on. Oh yeah, now he's swinging his arms. And that's why, this is exactly why you really want to keep that vehicle if you can help it. He's brutal. Oh! Oh! I actually was in it for a second there. No, can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Come on. Come on, he's almost down. I know he is. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't. Ugh. <sighs> Calm, calm, calm. Man, how much freaking health do you have, boy? There we go. Man, he's got a lot of health. Wait, I kept that thing? How? Alright, moving on to stage four. Stage four is the second to last. There are five stages in this game. Stages in every game. game. Most like one four at six though. Let's see here. I think these are just for points. <laughs> yeah. Bombs. Ugh, I almost jumped right off. Hey, we chased her in a laser gun. <laughs> oh yeah, those aliens? Yeah, their rolling attack can hurt you. That's another thing that makes them tricky to deal with. Ugh. Yeah, I hear you. There we go. There we go. That's what I was thinking of before. Oh! Jump! Right? So Tarma can do the Vulcan fix. I don't know the Vulcan. So all you have to do is just hold the shoot button. And it'll keep the gun in place. That's it. Thanks. Yeah. Speaking of holding the shoot button, that's what I was doing when this game doesn't offer auto fire. Yeah, now I'm suffering from muscle memory myself. Big heavy machine gun. There we go. Now I believe this is one of the rare examples of being able to keep a vehicle for the boss if you manage to make it to the end with it. But it's really hard to do. I can recall doing it only once. But I've definitely seen it. Oh! Maybe I was correct about Tarma having more HP in the uh, machines. That was more than three hits. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy's really annoying to deal with. So you have to defeat the boulders first, or the meteors. Asteroids, that's the term. Down and jump, down and jump, there you go. Ugh. Super great. So this is the end of this section, I believe. We give it a super grenade and more bombs. Here we go. Yeah, and you would actually still have that airplane there if you managed to keep it all this way. Thank you. 
Alright, now this boss is a nightmare to beat. Ugh, so much having all those bombs. Bombs are useless. Ugh. He's only vulnerable in his face. That's one reason why he's so annoying to fight. But they are at least nice enough to give us weapons. I don't know why using still using the left stick like a moron. Use the D-pad, Joseph. Now after a little bit, he's actually gonna do a spiraling attack. That can hit you. Let's see here. Here's a spiraling attack. Which I cannot believe didn't get hit by. Oh yeah, yay. Yeah. Oops. Here, do this. There we go. <coughs> And to avoid this attack, just stand right, under, right underneath him. Or stand right underneath him and jump to the left, rather. Okay. Looks like he's going to do the spiraling attack again. Let's see here. Alright, so now we're gonna be. I got hit by that. We're gonna be moving on to the second phase. Ugh, and the second phase is really annoying from what I remember. Huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, having double bombs is always a pleasure. Ugh. Hop back to it. If you ever, if you guys in the audience have ever seen a speed run of this game, or a skill run at least, it's amazing. Like the boss fires a lot faster than what you're seeing here. Playing on easy mode, and we're both still getting our asses kicked. Hard mode. Well, I'm talking about the difficulty adjustment of Metal Slug Anthology. Mm. Not so much the Metal Slug 6 selection. Just stand still. That's the problem, he won't. There we go, took care of him. Alright, just barely under 30 minutes. Which is good because the final stage of this game, whew, is a doozy. So for the final stage, we are actually going to lose a playable character. Because they'll be seen falling down here on the right. Now, wh who's it going to be dependent on? Player 1 or Player 2? It's going to be Player 1. That was Fio who dropped down. So Fio's special ability is she starts each life with a heavy machine gun. And she gets double ammo for picking a special weapon. So we won't be able to pick Theo for the rest of the game. Alright, these guys are on our side. More than soldiers, I mean. Let's see, it may not be a bad idea to pick Rao from the part coming up. I had literally one shot from the heavy machine gun left. What? Let's pick him right now. Let's see here. Up. L1 up in triangle. Uh, square. Joseph, square. Not triangle. Shot gun. Ah. Well, there goes my one hit. My free hit, I guess. There you go. That's what I was expecting. There we go. Take some serious ass with that. There we go. See? Alright, let's move forward.
There we go. Nice. Huh? I think you had to hop off a vehicle to get up there. Let's see here. There we go. Nice. Oh, there goes my free hit. Nice. There we go. Oh. There we go. Alright, now this thing. This is a new vehicle to Metal Slug 6. So we're going to be digging through the dirt here. Alright, we're going to be digging through the dirt, and there are going to be some enemies to shoot. The Vulcan gun will be facing the direction opposite to where your drill is facing. At least the controls are for the moving the thing itself are not inverted. Oh yeah, you can't escape that. If it runs out of health, you die. Alright, we've got this scorpion-like thing here. This is not set up a clear path. And that's not nice enough to not target us. So if it go gets near you, then it'll turn. Yeah, it'll turn red and home in on you. Come on. Okay, finally get rid of his ass. <clears throat> See, I believe we are approaching the end of this section. The bombs function as uh, landmines. And they'll only go off if something goes near it. There we go. I believe this is the end. I think... Yeah, we have to kill these things first. Okay, there we go. Now, this is interesting. Because now the aliens are going to be prisoners. Oh. Yeah, thanks to the old man guy. Appreciate it. There we go. Let's move forward. Sorry. I've had a long day. Ugh. <clears throat> Monkey! It's so, it's so it's weird monkey. to see those aliens salute. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I don't have a weapon anymore. Oh. There we go. Nice. Alright, let's kick some ass. There we go. Ralph and Clark are actually from a fighting game series. I believe it's called Akari Warriors. And that's why they're able to do these moves. Oh boy, the pink alien will actually, yeah, it'll split into a bunch of those things when it explodes. I got the two machine guns and then I got killed. How fucking fair is this? No, I'm the one who got it. Because it's with me. <clears throat> Please tell me we're nearly done. I believe this is the second to last part. Before the, the last part before the final boss. Tetsu sword. Oh, I'm not the one that got it. Just stay behind. Never mind, I used it up. Hey, 
Here we go. Alright, this guy's interesting. Oh, he's vulnerable in the eye. Oh yeah, now these aliens are getting serious. Oh. I still have my free hit. Okay. Alright, now for this one, we have to duck and go underneath it. I'm out of bombs. Oh wow, that's pretty I fast. Can't say. Can't say. There you go. Why not hmm. jump? Why not jump? Let's see, I think one of those aliens will actually help you out like uh, good old What's-His-Name does. You can't keep him forever. Tetsu sword, nice. Alright, come on. Oh, come on, get out of here. He's gonna be a part of this, and Tetsu sword's really helpful. Yeah. Oh. More aliens. Big heavy machine gun, wow. I, I think I found. God damn it! God damn it! Oh yeah, that's, that's nice. It dropped you off on the other side. What a, what a trap, man. Oh, this part. These aliens will actually hurt you if they land on you after getting big like that. This is where you can really let loose with a knife. Oh, Not there we go, with the muscle memory. I did the slide, but the slide's not in this game, it was removed. There we go. Ooh, he's gonna get a bone. Yeah, thanks. What a reward for rescuing him, right? Alright, just barely neutralized it. Alright, we're almost there. We just have one last mini boss. Because they got possessed. Oh, so we shoot the character, not the thing controlling her. Yeah, it's weird. We have to shoot the character. And if you listen carefully, you can. Yeah, you can actually hear a uh, corrupted version of the announcer. There we go. So we are going to be given a golden metal slug here. There it is. Right, so this is the final boss. So thankfully this final mission wasn't as long as the one in Metal Slug 3. I know, we're going! It's not my fault, I'm slow. There we go. Alright, so this is the Mother Invader. And at least the gray aliens will no longer drop the worms. The pink ones still will. Okay, here we go. I believe, yeah, the slug can run them down. Alright, Morden Soldier's gonna help us too. Not by much, but it still help. Oh, I can just run it down. Nice. What am I doing shooting it for? Alright. 
I think the Morgan soldiers got the killing shot on that one. Oh, you thought that was the end, did you? There's more. Oh, uh, yep. crap. Now the mother invader is going to attack us personally. Let's see, we can do stuff like this. There we go. Abuse the invincibility. You died, though. Yeah. It's because I was on the ground, that's why. It's when the animation is playing out, that's when you're invincible. Woo! Alright. Luckily, it's not too much longer. I have no hope in this, I'm just gonna jump and bomb, jump and bomb. Ah, oh, that wasn't what I meant to do. Let's see, yep, she's gonna drop that. I think you got one more hit left on this thing. Yep, that's it. Alright, hop out! Use whatever I can. Looks like it's uh, alternating who it's targeting. Let's see here. We are should be almost done. When we we're actually gonna start falling in a little bit once she gets low enough on health. And at that point, we just have to avoid a bunch of projectiles. Alright, no worms there. There we go! Alright, that's it. Oh. Is it almost over? Yeah, this is the final part, for real. Oh, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Okay, hey, we can destroy those things by aiming up. I'm not doing any damage. We're not supposed to. There we go. I'm not even going to get to be in the ending. Wow. Died too. Mission complete. <clears throat> oh yeah, one thing I didn't mention: Metal Slug Six actually has hidden paths, and if you take a certain path in Stage Three, then Root Mars will actually save you here instead of General Morden. Mm -hmm. Well, I prefer humans to brain-sucking aliens. Call me bigoted, if you wish. I don't give a fuck. Mm, there we oh, go. God. Yeah, it's I over I have 30 now. continues on that. Okay, whatever. It's not gonna save anyway. If there's any post credit scene this time. All that happens at the end is just a game over screen. That's it. That's... lame. Yeah, it's one of the examples of you beat the game, but the game over screen shows up anyway, because the game is over. You know. Whew. I'm just glad that final mission wasn't as bad as Metal Slug 3's. Or I guess as long, rather. Mm. Be thankful for that, because... Man, that was something else. Yeah, that took a long time. Yeah. Hey, we're just now approaching 45 minutes here compared to almost an hour that Metal Slug 3 took. But this is 
this this series is not quite over folks there is one last metal slug game that we are going to be tackling and that game is metal slug double x which is the remake of seven yes so this series is already coming to an end well unless you count the various spin-offs but those are all single player if I ever covered those games, it'd have to be by myself. Mm. And I have the means to cover all of them, too. First Mission, Second Mission, Advance. And First and Second Mission made their way to the Switch under Neo Geo Pocket Color Selection Volume 1. And I happen to have a copy mm. of Metal Slug Advance. The European version, funny enough, you know, that was just a version that I found at a retro game store a few years back. I don't remember these credits being particularly long. We're moving on to special thanks. It's interesting how this game actually has 3D graphics for this, the credits and the mission all over screen, but nowhere else. So there's a hidden path. There are hidden paths in, middle, in stage 1 and 3. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, 1, 3, and 4. <coughs> Did I say stage 3 earlier? I meant to say stage 4. Mm, you did say 3 earlier. Yeah, it was stage four's hidden path that determines the ending. Not stage three, I'm wrong. Well, this has been fun, Friday Gamer. But I must say, I need a nap. Hmm. We'll catch you on the next round. <laughs> yep, see you guys then. <laughs>